Hello and welcome back to Project 380. In this video, we're changing a wheel bearing on the front of this Mark 2.5. So we've got Robbie's 2.5 up on the lift and it's in desperate need of a front wheel bearing. These are slightly different compared to the Mark IIs and the Mark Ones without ABS. These wheel bearings have got an ABS ring built into them. So to test if a wheel bearing's gone, spin the wheel and it will make a horrible noise. Another way to test it is to wiggle it up and down and see whether there's any movement. But if you wobble it side to side, you won't be testing for a wheel bearing, you'll be testing for all the steering components back here. So we know this wheel bearing is definitely gone. To start things off, get it jacked up and on some axle stands and remove that wheel. If you've got a spigot ring, remove that. And then turn the steering so you've got better access for the brakes. To make life easier, we're gonna take the brake assembly off all in one. That's one bolt up the top here and one down the bottom that holds the brake carrier onto the hub. That'll allow the whole braking system to come off in one. Those two bolts are 14 millimeters. And you can pull the whole brake assembly off then use a hook up in the suspension to hold that nicely out of the way. Pull the brake disc off, and there is our wheel bearing. That's pretty noisy. Now we need to get this cap off to gain access to the nut behind it. You can see just a little gap in between the cap and the hub. We're gonna get a screwdriver in there, hit that, and prise that out. This nut has a locking device, as you can see, it's just been punched down into this recess. We want to relieve that a little bit, so we're gonna put a punch in there and hammer it out. So now you can see that's gonna make that nut easier to spin off. On the Mark 2.5, this nut is a 30 mil. On other models, it's a 27. Take that nut off. Then the hub assembly should just pull off. Once the wheel bearing is off, check the stub for any damage and make sure all the threads are all right and clean it up if you think it needs it. Grab the new wheel bearing and slide that on. Install the nut by hand, then gun that nut on. Then torque that down to 200 newton meters. With that nut torqued down, we now need to bend this to lock it into the locking recess. Just use a hammer and a chisel to do that. Then install the hub cap. Make sure that's seated all the way around. Just give this surface here a little bit of grease. That's gonna stop that disc seizing onto the hub. Then reinstall the brake disc. Then reinstall the brake assembly. Then torque that down to 65 Newton meters. A little bit of copper slip just round here. Pop the spigot ring back on if you've got one. Then put your wheel back on. Then test to see whether that wheel bearing's done the job. But nice and quiet now. Then once the car's back on the ground, torque them wheels up to 110 Newton meters. So that's a new wheel bearing fitted to Robbie's 2.5. If this video helped you, pop it down in the comments below. Leave us a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one.